up YouTube? Welcome to Motivate Monday. Yes, let's get right to it. Now I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving weekend. I'm sorry I didn't get to you sooner so I can give you some strategies as far as some of my young vegans, not young in age, but young in your journey prior to Thanksgiving. But the strategies I'm gonna give you today are gonna help you move forward to the next, next holiday, even for work today. All right, now let's get this thing started. So here's my thing. We can change the situation and we can change the way we think about the situation. Now you wonder what do I mean by that? Okay, probably like most of you, on Thanksgiving, you'll probably question or ask like, why are you vegan? Why do you do what you do? Why do you eat what you eat? Is it hard? Like questions like that. Now, of course we give the, the, the regular old answers, but if we were to stop and think that this is an opportunity for us vegans to stand up and say, hey, this is why I'm vegan. Hey, this is what it's done for me. Hey, this is my testimony. It's opportunity in disguise. That's what the holidays are, especially Thanksgiving because it's always around food. This is opportunity in disguise, and we have an opportunity to explain, elevate, and educate people about the benefits of this amazing lifestyle. This is our opportunity. This is time for vegans to stand proud and say, hey, look at me. I know you're looking. I know you're curious. I know you have questions, and I got answers. So this is that opportunity. And the great thing about this opportunity, it doesn't last just a day. It's a whole weekend and then you're going to work and it's still going. Because it's inevitable. People are going to say first, how was your holiday? What did you eat? How did you eat? Where did you eat? Who cooked it? What's in it? Those are the kind of questions you're going to be posed at work today. That's what's going to happen. And if you've been a vegan for a while, this is what always happens. Sometimes we get frustrated. Oh my God, they're asking me that same, where do I get my protein question? No, don't get frustrated. That's opportunity. They've come to your vegan door knocking, wanting to know information. You're not stepping to them, they're stepping to you. So this is an opportunity for you to say, hey, this is why I do what I do. This is where I get my protein. These are the benefits. This is what it's done for me and my life and my family, my friends. Because as I said in prior videos, this whole vegan lifestyle is not just for you. It affects everybody around you. Let them know that. This is that opportunity. This is the time that we put on our superhero vegan suit. And be like, yo, what? Ask away. Go ahead, ask me. This is our opportunity to punch you dead in the mouth that true vegan info. You know what? And then if we think about it, this is also an opportunity that we get to plant a seed. And just like you plant seed in your garden or on a farm, it takes time before you can harvest that, that seed. In the meanwhile, you're, you have to water that seed, you have to nourish that seed, you have to make sure the ground is ready for it. You know, you gotta do all that. And that's the same, that's exactly what we're doing. By us paying that seed and them coming back and asking us questions, that's how we start to nourish that seed. By them coming back and asking us where do we get our protein from, by them coming and asking us like, what are you eating? That's all nourishment. That's where we're just helping that seed grow. See, here's the deal. If we look at it not as a burden to answer questions through Thanksgiving, but we look at it as opportunity to enlighten We'll have a whole different mindset. We'll have a whole different outlook. This is an opportunity for vegans to activate your activism. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is an opportunity to activate our activism. You can't play with this thing. This is real. This is life-saving information that we have. And we're just fortunate enough to be on board with it. But we have to do more than that. It's not fair to keep all this good stuff to ourselves. We gotta share and show. Show and share what we got. You know, be the change you wanna see. You know what I'm saying? Be the change you wanna see. So I just wanted to come, come to you this morning as you get ready for work and help motivate you today 
and, and look for opportunities for people to ask you about what you ate, why you ate, and why you do what you do. This is opportunity. So as usual, Joshua Black, your vegan motivator, tell me to remember, write it on your arm, put it on your refrigerator, write it over your chest, I don't care, put it on your forehead. Remember, your beliefs are bigger than your appetite. Yo, that beat is flash.